Oh man, just finished the live stream with you and turned around and look at all that amazing sunlight coming in. So you can actually see these tanks um, with a lot more natural sunlight than normal. You can see all the bettas are uh, hungry and they are ready to be fed. Got my guys here. That's a betta mahachai male on the left there. And then my gardener eye killifish male. Everyone's like, fade me, fade me. So, oops, sorry, dude. Let's just try and let's do some flare training while the light's hitting them so nicely. Look at that metallic. They really glow. So, got high hopes for these guys. Their fry are um, around two weeks old now. They're starting to color up. So, oh wait, no, this is the one I want to spawn next. This is male four, quote unquote, male four. This is the daddy. It's up here. The light's not so good up here, but I'm just gonna pull all the cards and just let them all rip, get some exercise. Oops, oh my goodness, so clumsy. Let these guys all get some nice exercise. Really wanna spawn this guy. I lost the female, not sure how. Brought him back, male was fine the next day after I brought him back from the show and then the female just went kaput. Here's my big boy, there he goes. these guys I get like 10 minutes of light in this room every day 10 minutes of direct light ah look at that tumor you can see how rapidly these tumors grow once they get started he's still active healthy looks happy extremely aggressive as you can see so I really don't want to put him down as soon as he starts to have negative effects of that growth, then I will. But, I mean, right now he seems fine. And then this female is really old. She's getting up there, and so she has a growth on her mouth. But, I mean, it happens when they get really old. So... Oh, that's just so unfortunate. That's the only drawback to these beautiful metallic colors that I've found so far. Here's Daddy up here. The sister. See, he's ready to go. He's got another nest there. <laughs> Little girl over here. Might have to find someone else to spawn these ones. Probably send them to a show. Here's the mama of the latest spawn. I would love to spawn her again to this male. That's why they're next to each other. So that whenever I do these flare training sessions, they can be exposed to one another. She's more hungry than anything else, I think. But yeah, you can see there's no damage whatsoever from spawning. So she is looking really good. Beautiful girl. The male's looking great. Here's my weird guy. The one crown tail, double tail placot I kept. 
Here's another female. You know, I am seriously considering this female. Her, um, the spread of her caudal is not as good. But, man, she's got some nice color. But, you know, he's, there's that huge gap between the dorsal and the caudal. And the outer rays of the caudal are not uh, 180 degree. You know, it's much less... So that makes me not want to use her as a breeder, but who knows? Maybe I can toss her in. Come on, give us a profile. There we go, hun. She's got some nice color on her. So she is an option. Good looking. But, I mean, compare that coddle to this one when she, um, you know, it's not even hardly comparable. Her form is just that much, so much better, even though she has this weird, like, two-toned thing going on. She's still um, much, much better in terms of form. But turquoise to turquoise might be a fun cross. Hey, you're next, buddy. As soon as I uh, get a spawn tank. I love how this guy has that red loss. But, um, you know, there's not a speck of red on this guy. But his caudal is unbalanced. It's too small. But he has a really nice broad dorsal. And we're already losing the light. <laughs> but anyway, there was the five minutes of light coming in through the window. And it does look really nice. Everyone always asks why the water is brown. Water is brown because of Indian almond leaves. And then down here, this is an unheated part. These rows are heated. I have a video on how I wired this up. It's plugged into a central thermostat. Hello. That keeps them at around 78. These guys don't need to be heated. So I have a Gardnerai male in here, Maha Chai male waiting to get a female. I have two killifish fry in here. The Bivitatum fungi, only two of them hatched, which was so disappointing. And then I have two pairs of pygmy sunfish in here, another pair here, and then my LSM of pygmy sunfish grow out is this back tank here. So just wanted to show you guys what this rack looks like when there's a little bit of light coming in through the window. <laughs>